All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a detailed look at the Nike React Element 55, and then I'll also compare it to the Nike React Element 87, and then I'll let you guys know my pros and cons of both of these and whether or not it's worth your $130 or $160. So let's go ahead and get into this video. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the links in the description. I update collectivekicks.com on a weekly basis for sneaker deals. Also, uh, if you guys wanna buy either pairs of these, check the links in the description. You can't really get these ones at retail, however, I will link some places to buy them on the open market. So to start things off, this is the box, Nike React Element 55, $130 in the red Nike box. I would say fresh out of the box, these fit true to size. The React Element 87s, I actually got in a size 10 instead of my true to size, and these ones definitely are a little bit big on me. You could definitely go true to size on these. You might be able to even go down half a size. So mainly people just wanna know right off the bat, what is the difference between the Element 87 and the Element 55? It doesn't represent years or anything like that. It actually represents elements on the periodic table. So the Element 87 is actually francium. Francium is a chemical element with the symbol FR and the atomic number of 87. It's extremely radioactive and it is the most stable isotope. It has a half-life of only 22 minutes. Meanwhile, element 55 is known as cesium with the symbol CS and the atomic number of 55. And it's a soft silvery gold alkali metal. From what it sounds like, these are two very reactive elements on the periodic table, which is why they got their names. But for you scientists out there, leave a comment in the comment section and let us know why you think that these sneakers are named after elements on the periodic table. So there is a $30 difference between both of these shoes. And a lot of people just wanna know what is different. So I honestly don't understand why they named these two different elements on the periodic table. It should just be the React Element Premium versus the React Element because honestly, they're the exact same shape of the upper. They're pretty much the exact same shoe. The only difference is this is kind of a knockdown version, supposedly, I guess, over top of the 87s. But honestly, there's quite a few things about the 55s that I like better than the 87s. As I mentioned, the uppers are exactly the same except for the materials used and the difference being the $30 in the materials used. For me, the premiumness of this upper is just odd to me because it is clear. It's a hit and miss. It's one we have to be more mindful of when you're wearing socks because you obviously wanna make sure your sock game's strong. When you're wearing the 87s versus the 55s, you don't really have to do that because you can't see through and see your socks. So white socks on this, A-OK, -okay, which I wear white socks 99% of the time versus these white socks look really weird. So I like the fact that I can be lazier and throw these on and I have the exact same comfort from the midsole uh, in this version. So to piggyback on that, you can see the dust issue on the underlay of the 87s. Something, at least on this colorway, is very, very uh, noticeable and it's something that's kind of annoying because it looks just really dirty, which truly it is because this actually gets dust stuck underneath it and you don't even have to really be walking around in a dusty area, it just collects it underneath this upper, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but you obviously aren't gonna have that problem on the 55s. Another small thing that I actually like better about the 55s is just having rope laces. I like these over top of the flat laces. To me, it just looks cleaner. I don't know why. And for the brand on the side of the shoe, there's a Hyperfuse Nike swoosh on the side versus this one that's more painted on. Another sort of advantage, at least coming into the winter time, is the fact that this is not as breathable of a material. Some people might think it's a disadvantage because if you like the breathability of your shoes, then this is definitely a better option because this clear material is very breathable, which it doesn't look like it would be because it's kind of plasticky, but it really is, versus these, which are not very breathable when you put them on your feet in comparison. But given the fact fall and winter are coming up, this could be a better option to keep your feet warm if you want that over top of the clear, very breathable shoe. The downsides of the 55s are just the lack of premium materials. Like it's very noticeable that this is premium on the back here versus this is just really, really plain. In fact, this one reminds you of the cheap version that I got here. This is the replica pair of the undercover joints that I ended up buying to compare to the real things. And it's honestly almost in line with that. So this and this are fairly close cheap quality. This is like much more premium right on the back here. Also the felt like material on the laces here is a little bit softer on the Element 87s versus the 55. So a little bit premium stuff there. As for the tongue on the 55s, you can see it's that same felt like material through the entire tongue, so less breathability here, versus the 87s that have that crazy mesh material through the entire upper, and it has reinforcement right in the middle of the laces. You also get a nice visual piping along the tongue with the Element 87. Meanwhile, it's kind of just plain Jane material. Also, one of the major differences, you just have a Nike swoosh logo on the insole versus cork insole on the 87. 
So that is definitely more of a premium feel on the cork insole, but honestly, it doesn't make that much of a difference. And lastly, around the collar right here, this material feels like it's more premium than this kind of fiberglassy sort of um, material. Just, I don't know, it feels like this is more rugged than this. So it is what it is. A couple of things I don't like about, honestly, either of these shoes is just a lack of structure overall. I hate having to put on a shoe and then have the tongue get so flimsy and twisted like this and have you put it on and it just looks like this. And I don't know, you have to really be mindful of when you put these shoes on and make sure the tongue is all straight and good to go before you can walk around in them. Otherwise the tongue is twisted and I just, I don't really like that. It's just a really flimsy type material. So if these are shoes that you just need to grab and go, it's not as easy to put on your feet, at least for myself personally. Some of you guys are gonna be like, why is he complaining about that? But maybe you guys have the luxury of time where you can sit there and delicately lace up your shoes, but I don't. I'm usually just on the go. I need to throw them on, run out to the car because I'm already behind schedule from what the wife usually wants if I'm at home or I'm late for work or something like that. I just need to get to the office. So that is my only complaint. And just throwing this out there, these are extremely easy to get on. So this is like my go-to uh, or the Ultra Boost because they're so comfortable, both of this and the Ultra Boost, and you can just throw them on your feet and you're good to go. You don't have to mess with the laces. Also, a lot of people have suggested that the React Element 87 could be the sneaker of the year. It is a great new model from Nike, very innovative, very different, but my personal preference is this one so far. There's nothing that's gonna beat this shoe to me as of right now. Uh, with comfort and style and everything else in between the pegasus 35 turbos i've done a detailed review on both of these these ones are 180 however and you actually have that same type of material on the upper from this as you do on this one the only difference is you have a mesh underlay here that adds a lot more structure to the shoe you also have more heel protection and it's just a more comfortable ride but the price point is more premium at 180 dollars this shoe is my go-to uh, every day like it's just such an amazingly comfortable shoe so if i had to 180 preferred. Then my next one, honestly, I would skip the 87s and the hype behind the 87s and I would go straight to the 55s for the winter time, especially coming up. And if you just want to try the React material and you just want to try the comfort of the shoe, that's one thing I didn't really cover that much of, but these shoes are extremely comfortable. Like you can't really go wrong with either model if you want comfort because you have a massive React cushioning system on the bottom of this shoe. It is big and it does feel good on feet. I mean, I just really like the overall cushioning of this shoe, I think it feels really good. Especially for $130, it's definitely a really comfortable shoe. And I think that overall style of the shoe is just different with the crazy little pods and everything. Uh, I think that this is definitely a great buy. $460, if you can get your hands on a pair of the 87s, not bad, but again, the upper with the clear material, people are gonna love it, people are gonna hate it. It just takes more time to plan out your outfits, I guess, which some people might be into, some people might not, but just throwing it out there. But that's my thoughts on these two. Leave some comments in the comment section. What did I get right? What did I get wrong? Um, what are your guys' thoughts on the uh, 55s? I think that overall it's a great model. There's a couple cons that I already mentioned in this video, but go ahead and leave your guys' thoughts. But anyways, that is the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you guys are new to the channel, again, subscribe. Notification bell if you want to be notified of when my videos go live. I try to post almost every day. At this time, if you guys want to check out any other videos on my channel, feel free to click my name and then go and just search all the videos and see what you guys can find. Hopefully you guys can find some other videos that you guys like, but have a uh, great rest of the day. We'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace, guys.